What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 New Era Pinstripe Bowl between the Boston College Eagles and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with Boston College. For Boston College in this ball game, it's all about controlling the pace of the game. BC does a great job in dictating the tempo and controlling the pace against opponents. They are a run-heavy football team, and they only operate off play action. I think that's how they can neutralize the pass rush of Penn State. And I look at the big matchup on the outside defensively, cornerback Manuel Asparilla going against Deshaun Hamilton, one of the most outstanding receivers in the country and playing on a very subpar Penn State football team but he is definitely their go-to guy and Asprilla will have to win that battle more often than not. I think this is a strength versus strength battle in the trenches. The Eagles offensive line against that Nittany Lions defensive front four. If they can win up front like they've done all season long it goes a long way in helping the Eagles control this game. And for the Nittany Lions in this ball game anytime you have a struggling offensive line you want to go to your quick passing game. Get the football out of Hackenberg's hands quickly and that way it's a short pass. It can be an accurate pass and now you allow your playmakers on the outside to make one miss. And you have to put Hackenberg on the move. This is another way that they can combat the leaky offensive line right now for Penn State. Putting him on the move with those boots and waggles and that's how they can have some success. And you want to make Tyler Murphy beat you throwing the football. Like I mentioned before, BC is a heavy run football team. You went on first down, you went on second down, you make this team play with third and long, second and long type situations, and that way you can unleash that pass rush and you can have some success defensively to get these guys off the field. The biggest X factor in this ball game for Boston College will be their ability to apply pressure against Penn State. So I think their blitz package will be key, whether that comes from the linebacker level or the safety level. I think they're going to have to continue to harass Kristen Hackenberg all day long if they want to have a chance. And for Penn State, the biggest X factor is an obvious one. It's their passing game, and I think it has to be effective at every level, from the pass protection level, from the quarterback level, and from the receiver's level. The pass protection has to be there. They have to keep bodies out of the face of Hackenberg, and Hackenberg has to make quick and accurate decisions with the football. He also has to protect the football, and guys on the outside have to win those individual matchups in order for this passing game as a whole to have success. Now here are some 2015 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game for Boston College. Center Andy Gaelic is very impressive. I saw him live versus Syracuse. In my opinion, one of the top two centers in the country. Tyler Murphy is a guy that improved significantly over his career and has put it all together his senior season for BC. And you look at Manuel Asparilla, impressed me a lot again versus Syracuse. Big fan of his game and how active he is with the ball in the air. And for Penn State, you look at defensive end C.J. Olanian, 6'3", 245, your classic edge rusher at the next level. And I'm a big fan of Bill Benton, the tailback for Penn State. If they're going to win this ball game, they're going to have to lean on Bill Benton and his running ability and what he can do with the football in his hands in space as a receiver. And Adrian Amos, strong safety extraordinaire, 6'2", 211, a guy that you definitely want closer to the line of scrimmage. At 6'1", 265 pounds, defensive tackle Mike Ruth was one of the strongest interior defensive linemen in college football. Despite being undersized, Ruth consistently was able to win up front using strength and quickness and finishing his career with over 20 plus sacks, winning the Outland Trophy in 1985. And he's also one of only two BC players to have their jersey retired. Bobby Ingram was a big play waiting to happen, whether it was on a receiving end of a touchdown pass or a punt return. Number 10, lit up Happy Valley with his big play ability. Ingram left Penn State with numerous receiving records, two of which the all-time yardage leader at 3,026 yards and receiving touchdowns with 31 still stand today. He was also the inaugural winner of the Bolitnikoff Award and was a three-time AP All-American.
Last year's Pinstripe Bowl was a good matchup between Notre Dame and Rutgers, and Rutgers had their moments in the first half, but as the third quarter began, Notre Dame just ran behind offensive tackle Zach Martin, who ended up being the game's MVP to the tune of 175 yards on the ground en route to a 29-16 victory. In the 2007 Champ Sports Bowl, Boston College battled Michigan State and the 10-3 Eagles, led by quarterback Matt Ryan's three touchdown passes, was able to hold off the Spartans 24-21. The 99 Alamo Bowl between Penn State and Texas A&M was supposed to be an offensive shootout, but the Nittany Lions defense had other plans as they put a fence around the end zone, shutting out the Aggies 24-0. I like Boston College in this ballgame. Defensively, I think they'll be in the face all day long of Christian Hackenberg. I can't trust Penn State's offensive line. But when you look at Boston College offensively, you look at what they do well. They can run the football. They own the line of scrimmage. I think those two things will allow them to slowly shrink this ball game and force Penn State to maximize their possessions. And I think that's just going to unleash the pass rush of Boston College against Hackenberg. So I like the Boston College Eagles to come away the 2014 Pinstripe Bowl champs.